In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to use Quick Links to become more efficient when using your Gmail. I've already logged into my Gmail, as you can see, and I have my layout uh, set there with emails there on the main right-hand side, and on the left-hand side I can access my inbox, start, important, and such. Need to make sure that labs are turned on because Quick Links happens to be a lab that Google provides within Gmail. In order to do so, let's click on our gear icon and come down to settings. Next I want to click on the labs tab. If you do not see labs that means your domain administrator has not enabled labs so you'll need to ask them if they would enable that. So I'll click on labs. Now this lists all the labs that Google provides within Gmail. Be aware that labs are experimental, give you an idea of what the engineers uh, are playing with, but they're not kind of ready for prime time and a full feature within Gmail. So they could break or disappear at any time. Though I have not seen that to be the case, they always put that as a disclaimer just to make sure you're aware of it. So let me scroll down. Initially you'll see enabled labs floated to the top or migrated to the top section while those that have not been enabled would be down in the bottom section. If you have not turned on any labs then they would all be in one list. You'll notice that I already have some enabled, Quick Links being one of those, so it's in my top section. You'll need to find Quick Links and click on Enable, and then scroll to the bottom and click on the uh, Save Changes button in order to save that lab uh, as an enabled lab within Gmail. Alright, now let me click on my inbox and go back to where we can test it and use it and actually see it in action. So here I'm in my inbox and I've enabled labs, quick links, and uh, now I need to make use of it. So quick links are like bookmarks for searches you do in email. Now there are many ways of searching your email. You can search who it's to, who it's from, subject line, if it has an attachment, uh, maybe a specific name of an attachment. There are lots of different searches you can do. And sometimes you find that you're doing those searches quite often or at least often enough to save it as a quick link and become a little bit faster. So let's take a look at the quick links that I already have created. On the left hand side you'll notice down at the bottom there are three dots and when I mouse over it it says gadgets. So let me click on that to reveal what gadgets I have installed or what labs I have installed. You'll notice I have a Google Calendar gadget that's over here on the left hand pane and I have quick links that is also enabled and appears over on the left hand pane. Now you'll see from my quick links I have several many that I've created. Quick links as I said are like bookmarks for searches you've done and saved within Gmail. Now the downside about quick links is that you can't reorder this list you can't sort the list. The list happens to be in the order that you've created each, each quick link. So you'll see webinar and all in red. These are quick links I created a long time ago. While down here, these are more recent ones that I've created. So let's create a quick link now. I'm going to create a quick link for the Texas Education Agency, uh, their email that they send out every so often to the administrator addressed. So what I want to do is, best practice if I'm doing a to or from, is to copy that email address because if I have a typo that will cause it to not give me the results that I want. So I've copied the email address and then up here I can to put to colon and who it's to, oh, excuse me, from colon who it's from, or if I want to make it simpler I can click on the little down arrow and it gives me a form to fill out. So I'll just use the form. And then for the subject line it's to the administrator Now if I'm uh, in the form I don't have to worry about spaces. If I'm not in the form and I'm just typing in that uh, search box here, I need to put dashes instead of spaces. So it recognizes it's all part of the subject line. Now if I click the uh, search icon and I can add any more things I would like to or it's fine for this. So I'm going to go ahead and click the search icon. It'll perform the search and it tells me that there are 38 emails that I've received from TEA that are to the administrator addressed and you'll see them listed right here. 
Now, if this is a search I would do often, that might get kind of cumbersome. So let me come over to Quick Links, and down at the bottom of my list, it says Add Quick Link. So I click on that. A little dialog pops up where I can name it something meaningful other than, as you can see, what is addressed there. So I'll say TEA to the admin and click on OK. Because it's now the most recent quick link I've created, it'll appear at the bottom of the list. Now, anytime I click on a quick link, it'll perform the search that's associated with that link. And if any more emails have been added uh, to my Gmail since I created that quick link, they will appear in that list. So it's always a fresh, accurate list of what you searched for and saved when you created that quick link. Hope you enjoy using quick links. It definitely is a time saver and something that you'll enjoy using time and time again.